Tedesco beats one. Oh, we've got a problem here. For, is that English that went through and yeah. missed an estate down? Look, I sort of felt that similar pain before, and I thought it was just exactly the same that. Going in half time, went in half time, did the assessments, doing change of diag um, angles and everything, and you know, doing a little bit of sprints, acceleration, deceleration, and you yeah, pulled up fine. Oh, look out! It's Walker, he's kicked into vacant space. The bounce is favourable for Greg Inglis to score on one leg. Obviously, going over there is a different scenario. It's, um, people run at you and change of directions like that, so it was, wasn't on your terms. and. Yeah, looking back at it now, it's, you know, it wasn't the best idea. I think after the game, I said to our doc, I said, I'll be back in two weeks, you'll be fine. <laughs> I went for scans, it wasn't to be. <laughs> at the time, it was just like, I just want to be out there. You know, was, I didn't think of anything of it because I've never done such a, you know, injury like this. You know, looking back at it now, it was... You know, I was just one of those passengers that just, you know, out there for no reason. Greg started uh, week one of pre-season. Obviously, um, you know, since round one of, of, uh, of 2017 season, he's um, yeah, been recovering from, from an ACL. Once he got that bad news confirmed, it was making sure that surgery's organised and uh, we got that done. And, he had a really, really successful outcome from his surgery and, and the rehab journey begins. You, you, you miss Greg, you know what I mean? He's, he's, um, the younger players in the group look up to him. Um, you know, the, the senior players in the group have so much respect for him because um, you know, of his actions, you know, on the field during his career, he's been an elite player, you know, at the very, very um, top end of our game. So, yeah, to not have him with the team, certainly, um, um, you know, weakened our team in 2017. There's, there's no denying that whatsoever. Normal timelines don't really work with Greg. Um, we expect to get certain responses from, from programs and on occasions he can do that in half the time, a fifth of the time. He just does things that are beyond belief really, both in the gym um, and also in his healing and his, his ability to, uh, to produce force. And you see that with his friend and we see that in the gym when he, when he does an exercise such as the bench throw, it nearly hits the ceiling. It's just remarkable the scores that we're getting from him. He's setting a standard in that regard even while he's injured. He really is a, a, a once in a lifetime of a player. Yeah, and he's been pulling up fine. You know, we've got things in place where I come out here, you know, I'm feeling great. It's like just pull it back a bit because I've still got a long way to go. Some people say it takes two years to recover from an ACL injury, the physical and mental scars. Do you, do you ever think you'll be the same player again? Yeah, I think so. I think I'll just come back. Um, probably, you know, much better headspace and a lot clearer, you know, about what I want throughout, you know, my football career. Um, I had a year off, so, you know, I'll sit there in the sheds and look at the boys and the ice and there. I don't miss that. But, um, yeah, having a year off, it's uh, really, you know, refresh my body and refresh me mentally. What did you miss the most about being away from footy? Was it the camaraderie, being around the guys? No, I've, like, I've been in those environments, still going in those environments, um, even throughout the year. I think it's more the contact and being around, you know, going out there and putting your best foot forward for the team. You know, you get to run out with your mates every week and you get to play the sport that you love. It sometimes feels like you're not making any progress and then one day you come in and you are. And he probably found that a little bit challenging for someone who's so genetically gifted. Athletically gifted, he found that a real challenge initially, but certainly since coming back to pre-season for 2018, he's made some rapid progress and we're really happy with how he's training. It's great for the, the players and the staff to see Greg back um, at training. 
obviously he's still going through his um, you know, rehab phase, and um, but to have him back out on the field and, and doing his sort of work out in the field is, um, yeah, I think it's, it's great for everyone to see. Captain, she means a lot to you. You wanted that back? Yeah, I did. I did. I think it's something that I, you know, got to take responsible for. You know, if the team doesn't perform, well, then, you know, that's something that I'll put my hand up for. Um, it's something that I, that I like and something that I enjoy. You know, I want to be captain of this club. You know, it's a great club and it's a great, you know, feeling around, around this joint. Um, he's got the goal and, and we've got the goal of a club that we'd love to see him play half a game against the Dragons and the Charity Shield. Um, you know, so that, that's a goal. Anyone who's, who's been through that uh, particular rehab process, um, you know, I'm sure they'd tell you the same, that it's a challenging injury to come back from. But we're really confident in our staff and very confident that he'll get to where he needs to be. Yeah, that'll be my first game, Charity Shield, out Mudgee there. So um, we'll see how we go. I, you know, that's what I'm aiming for, is um, half a game at Charity Shield and obviously two weeks off before we go to Perth and play. Greg, Greg's a, um, an iconic figure in our game. You know, I think um, you know, he, he's, he's done everything in the game there is to, to do as a player and um, you know, he's revered um, in the Indigenous community and I think, um, you know, as, as uh, captain of the, the Rabbitohs, his profile is, is a big one and, you know, when he's fit and healthy and playing footy, he's um, in the top couple of players in, in the game of rugby league. So, you know, um, like I said, he, he's um, important to the Rabbitohs and um, you know, his leadership on and off the field is a, a key to what we're trying to do in 2018.